Princess Eugenie paid a secret visit to Caritas Bakita House, an organization providing a safe refuge to women escaping human trafficking, it has been revealed. The royal was accompanied by her friend Julia de Boinville, with whom Eugenie co-founded the Anti-Slavery Collective. Their organization aims to connect policymakers, journalists, survivors and individuals to raise awareness on modern slavery and put an end to it. The pair's visit took place on June 16. According to Caritas Westminster, Julia and Eugenie shared homemade ice cream in the garden with guests. Among them, there were survivors of modern slavery and trafficking from seven different countries. Eugenie and Julia praised the immense strength, determination, and positive attitude about life shown by the women they met currently staying at Caritas Bakita House. Karen Anstis, Bakita House manager, said of the visit, We were pleased to have Princess Eugenie and Julia de Boinville for a second visit to the house. Modern slavery is too big an issue for any single group to tackle alone so we welcome the work of the Anti-Slavery Collective in raising awareness and strengthening coalitions. Princess Eugenie gave birth to August on February 9. She has been on maternity leave since, but her visit may be signaling a slow return to her work duties and charity commitments. On top of her charity work, Princess Eugenie also works as a director at the London Art Gallery Hauser and Worth. Eugenie was also spotted earlier this week in London for a night out with her husband Jack. The loved-up pair attended the launch of Poppy Jamie's book Happy Not Perfect. Eugenie's maternity leave mirrors the Queen's first maternity leave following the birth of Prince Charles. The Queen, who was still the heir to the throne at the time, also took a four-month break following the birth of the Prince of Wales on November 14, 1948. In March the following year, she met ballerina Moira Shearer in Edinburgh and visited Liverpool and Manchester, marking a return to her royal work. The other maternity leaves of the Queen were much shorter. Following the birth of Princess Anne on August 15, 1950, the Queen carried out her first official engagement on October 19 of that same year. After giving birth to Prince Andrew in 1960 and Prince Edward in 1964, the Queen took only a couple of months off work. Following the arrival of Peter Phillips, Princess Anne also took a four-month-long maternity leave. Similarly, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, returned to work four months after giving birth to Princess Charlotte in 2015. On Sunday, Princess Eugenie marked Jack's first Father's Day by releasing four new pictures of her husband and August. The first showed Jack pushing his son in a pram, while the second saw the couple smiling as Eugenie held August in a sling. The third snap featured Jack smiling while cuddling August, and the fourth cute photograph showed Jack napping with his son laying down on his chest.